Here's some business advice that's blindingly obvious once you know it. Fear is an acronym. It stands for false evidence appearing real. Now, many, many moons ago, about 20 years ago, I was kidnapped. I was backpacking in Morocco and I put my trust in this guy called Sharif and he took me to this quiet part of town where suddenly I was bustled into the backseat of a car by a bunch of guys with uh, knives and guns. It was a very harrowing experience. Spoiler alert, I escaped. Indeed, this is the story of how I escaped. So for the rest of that day, they took me to all these different ATMs, took me all around town in Morocco, Tangier as I was, trying to get me to take money out of these ATM machines. Now, I don't know whether I'd got my PIN number wrong because I was freaking terrified, or maybe there was no money in the account, but it just wasn't working and they were getting more and more frustrated and more and more angry with me. So at some point, they convinced me to call my family back home in Australia. So I tried to call my parents, but it was in the middle of the night, so it didn't work out. So I uh, tried to call my sister who was in London and uh, her friend Michelle answered, who I think was a little bit stoned. Anyway, she didn't quite get the point, but she did get onto my parents. At least she was able to leave a message in the middle of the night, which they found the next day because this was in the time of answering machines. Anyway, as the day wore on, my, uh, my kidnappers got more and more frustrated. They weren't able to get any money out of me. So we finished the day at a, uh, an abandoned hotel, or maybe it was under construction. And I was put in my room and uh, there was no running water, or at least there was a little bit of running water, but the water was brown and it was disgusting and I was terrified. And they left me to my own devices in my room. Now, as the night went on, I couldn't sleep, of course, I was desperately thirsty. And then as dawn swung around, I looked and I noticed that there was my backpack on my floor with me, my backpack. And no one had touched my backpack. You'd think that someone would have cut it open or seen what's inside or rifled through it, but no one had touched my backpack. And suddenly I remembered something that my mother had once said to me. Fear in most instances is an acronym. It stands for false evidence appearing real. And it suddenly occurred to me that at no point had I been physically harmed. At no point had anyone made a direct threat. It was all very veiled threats. And I suddenly thought maybe the consequences for harming a, a, a tourist are very, very high. But however, the consequences for blackmail or bullying in someone into giving you their money are not that high. So I went and I got my bag and I took one small step. Very important thing in business to know that when you're stuck in a place of inaction, you need to find a way to create some momentum. Momentum creates momentum. So I took one small step and I picked up my bag and I took one small step to the door. And I got to the door and I turned the handle which was terrifying, but I did it. And the handle turned and the door was not locked. So I took my backpack and I went to the door, I turned the handle and I went through the door. And on the other side of the door, there was this young man with a rifle across his knees and he looked up like he was busted. Cause he was, he was busted caught napping. And the more that I looked, the more I noticed that the rifle didn't actually seem real. He just looked like a kid with a toy gun across his lap and he looked busted. Now, I don't know if it was real or not, but I remembered that advice, false evidence appearing real. So I stared at the guy with my backpack as if like to say, stop me, mofo. Walked past him, down the corridor, down the stairs, down to the street. And fortunately I could see the ocean. So I walked to the ocean, to the port, jumped on a ferry and got the hell out of Tangiers. Went to a place called San Sebastian in Northern Spain. The safest place, the first place I felt safe and then drunk myself into a stupor. Anyway, the moral of this story is fear is an acronym. Even in the direst of situations, most of the time, fear is an acronym. It stands for false evidence appearing real. And most of the things that confront us in our everyday lives are not dangerous. 
They're not life-threatening, but we've been programmed to think about everything as if it were life-threatening, but the reality is, in the real world, most things are not. False evidence appearing real, and when you find yourself stuck in a place of inertia, of inaction, the smartest thing that you can do is take one small step, because that one small step is gonna to lead to a second step, and then a third step, and before you know it, you've created momentum. And momentum creates momentum, and that's how you get through hard times.